Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I am a home espresso aficionado, and this is a video about a water recipe, specifically that of Dr. Robert Patlas, his recipe for espresso water. Uh, this gentleman, whom I did not know, passed away somewhat recently, but I found this recipe on the Home Barista website, those forums. He was very active there, offering a lot of information including this recipe for espresso water that does not produce scale. That's the big factor for me. So I wanted to make hopefully a fairly succinct video on how I mix it up according to his recipe. So first of all, you have to make the concentrate, which I have done a total of two times and it lasts for quite a, quite a while. This is potassium bicarbonate, food grade, I got it on Amazon, and I don't think I'm going to be using it up for a very long time. I got the smallest amount I could find, um, one pound. To make the concentrate, you mix 10 grams of this with one liter of distilled water. I keep that here in this container. As you can see, I still have plenty left. You only need a certain amount of it, 38 grams to mix with one gallon of distilled water. It also works to think 40 grams to four liters. I like to do it this way, but I like to make two gallons at once, so I double that, so it's 76 grams per one gallon of distilled water, all right? Um, I guess at some point fairly soon, I'm gonna have to mix it up again. All right, in order to do so, you need basically your distilled water. I've got two gallons over here. And then to do the mixing and the storing, you want a bigger container. This is a eight liter container or about two and a half gallons maybe. This is also uh, food safe, BPA free and all that. I got this on Amazon. I know it took a while to find it. You can find a bunch of weird things on there. Uh, medicine dropper or syringe is useful. You definitely need the scale part. So the first thing I will do is I will dose out the concentrate. I'm not gonna bother zooming, um, zooming in with the camera. Great, now that's 76.6 right now, which is perfectly fine. You're not gonna get any scale this way and it's not gonna taste funny or anything like that. You don't have to be all that specific because remember, this is then getting distributed through the two gallons of water, but just to do it right, and since I have the dropper, I'm gonna take some out. I'm at 75.2, put some back in. This is not the most exciting video, but to espresso people, we obviously care a lot about this stuff. 75.8, 76.1, and I'm gonna live with that. Put the rest back in the concentrate bottle. And that is it for needing the scale. If you wanna be really, really safe about this, it's always good to have a funnel nearby, although you're hardly gonna miss pouring it into there. But I will go ahead and use the funnel. I pour it into my big container. And now, in go the gallons of water. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, the gallons, what am I saying? I'm just like doubting myself. Funnel for sure this time. There's one gallon. Once we have that, we just want to shake it up a little bit. There we go. And then finally, because this is a little bit unwieldy to have to pour into your espresso machines into the reservoir. Of course, this is for people who don't have their water plumbed in. I still have a little bit left in here, but it's all the same mix already. So I get my funnel again. And then I pour into the smaller container, an empty gallon container that I keep for the finished mixed water. That's as far as I like to go. I could fill it up more, of course, but we're talking espresso here. So we don't use that much water at once. But now I have this ready to go for the next time I want to have my espresso using either my Gadget Classic Pro or the La Pavoni. 
Anyways, hope that video was useful. I'm ever thankful for this recipe by this man. And there you have it. Take care, everyone.